welcome back to my youtube channel it's easy here how are you guys doing today how are you feeling today i'm gonna be showing you guys my very simple and quick wash day routine no extra serere no extra what no extra serere you know just slap on some shampoo some deep conditioner and you are good to go <laughs> been putting off washing my hair for the longest of time because your girl is lazy but today we're gonna be washing our hair but this is actually the longest I've gone without washing my hair I usually wash my hair every two weeks yes two weeks but I noticed that my hair was getting really weak you could feel it when you touch my hair it was really brittle so I was like nah I need to stop washing my hair every two weeks it's been four weeks since I washed my hair last and now we are washing the hair now before we jump right into the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you are watching this video please subscribe and don't forget to like this video and leave a comment also now let's jump right into the video guys i have had my hair in a tight bun for the whole week you don't even understand how good it feels to take the rubber out and i have been applying eco styler gel and got to be glue on my hair like every day hence that's why it looks like that that's why there's a lot of gunk there's like one million layers of gel on my hair at the moment <laughs> look at that oh my days anyways that's why we're washing it today and guys if you see me sweating just know that it's literally boiling outside it is so hot like i can't even explain so first up i'm gonna start by wetting my hair properly like literally making sure my hair is drenched i have low porosity hair so it takes time for my hair to actually absorb the water i'm also gonna be using warm water throughout my whole wash day if you have low porosity hair it's always good for you to use warm water warm to hot water when you're washing your hair this just helps the process to go quicker i said warm to hot please 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 don't go use boiling hot water and burn your scalp i beg you it also helps to massage your strands while the water is flowing down the hair so because i have a lot of product build up on my hair at the moment i'm gonna use this time to make sure i wash off all the gel till i can't feel the gel on my hair anymore for my shampoo, I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Shampoo. I just like to pour the shampoo into my hand first before applying it to my hair. This allows me to control the quantity that I pour on my hair. When washing my hair, I try to use my fingertips, not my fingernails, to scrub my hair. Um, if you have tender scalp like me, I advise you not to use your fingernails because trust me, it doesn't end well and this is me trying to demonstrate that you shouldn't use your fingernails you should use your fingertips like what is about is this the best you can do <laughs> i'm actually gonna be using the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil line for the whole wash day i've been using this line for for the past three months i think yeah um it's a bit on the pricey side what made me attracted to the line was because i know black castor oil helps with hair growth and strengthening of hair that was why i decided to purchase the line and i've been loving it since i did because my hair has actually grown i've been seeing growth in my hair like of recent and i'm happy with that um for the shampoo i really love the smell of the shampoo it kind of smells it smells like sweet i don't know how to explain it but it has this really sweet smell to it and i like it it foams up a lot which i like oh i love that in shampoo if the shampoo doesn't foam is it really shampoo i don't think so so i like to shampoo my hair twice every time regardless of how dirty or clean the hair is the shampoo is actually forming up a lot for a first wash and I'm actually surprised because you know usually when your hair is dirty the shampoo is not able to form up. So for my second wash i like to make sure i really get into it like concentrate on my scalp on my edges the back of my hair you know all the eco styler gel all the edge control you've been using to do your edges this is the time to wash them all off you know you gotta take care of them edges
so after rinsing that off it's time for deep conditioning before i deep condition i like to section my hair into four different sections it's always easier to work in smaller sections when you're detangling your hair then i like to apply oil to my hair i'm gonna be using shea butter and coconut oil on my hair you can use any oil of your choice but i personally like to use shea butter and coconut oil for conditioning my hair so what i did was i mixed the two oils together then i put them in the bottle and put the bottle in hot water this melts the oil then i'm gonna apply the oil to my scalp and also massage it into my hair After that is done, I like to go in with my deep conditioner which is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Treatment Mask. I'm going to be applying this section by section and I'm also going to be detangling my hair. I'm going to be finger detangling and using a brush to detangle the hair. First off, the look of this treatment mask is not it at all. I don't like the color but it does the job. And also, this deep conditioner doesn't really have enough slip. But I have noticed that when I use it, I don't really get a lot of breakage. I know that's weird because normally when a conditioner doesn't have sleep, it causes breakage when you're detangling. But I don't get a lot of breakage when I use that. And also, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of hair growth since I started using the product. So it must be doing something right. So when I'm using a brush to detangle my hair, I like to start from the tip of my hair and gradually work my way upwards. This helps prevent breakage. Like I said, this conditioner doesn't have a lot of sleep, so you got to be careful when you're detangling. Don't get me wrong, I love the conditioner. Like I said, it helps it helps with my hair growth. I've seen a lot of hair growth since I started using this line, but I would like to get another conditioner that has more sleep. I haven't found the perfect products for me yet I'm still searching so I'm always trying new products always trying new products so if you have any recommendations feel free to comment down below in the comment section all right thank you so another reason why I really like this conditioner is because it gives my curls a bit of definition and also it leaves my hair feeling really soft like if your conditioner doesn't leave your hair feeling like a pillow is that even a conditioner hey sorry to say but it's not conditioning anything sis i continue to run the brush through my hair until the brush can pass through freely after that i then go on to put the hair into a braid and tuck the braid in i'm now going to do that to the three other sections After I'm done with all the sections, I put on my shower cap and let the conditioner sit for 15 minutes before rinsing it off. Please don't come for my shower cap. I need to get a shower cap that is actually for my age. <laughs> okay? So it's been 15 minutes. Well, more than 15 minutes. I have rinsed off the conditioner and as you can see, my hair still has a bit of curl definition. That's why I actually love this deep conditioner. Even after rinsing it off, the curl definition is still there. So now I'm just gonna have a shower and allow the hair to dry for a bit before applying my leave-in conditioner. So guys, I am back. So because my hair is low porosity hair, it takes about two seconds for my hair to dry. That is an advantage of having low porosity hair. So now, um. I'm not planning to do a twist out or a braid out on my hair, but I am going to style it, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I'm just going to apply some leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to be using the Macon Black Castle Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Who, who would have guessed? And I'm going to be using Extra Dark Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So that's complete. Black castor oil for everything. So yeah. I'm just gonna section my hair and apply the leave-in conditioner. Guys, can we just take a moment to appreciate how freely my fingers are moving through my hair? We love to see it. Like, that's the kind of detangling we love to see. I'm only gonna be applying a leave-in conditioner this time. I'm not applying a coiling cream because I'm not doing a twist-out or a braid-out. 
I am tired of doing twist outs that always come out looking like what I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. Like if you guys know any products or like method to a successful twist out, please comment down below. Let me know. Share your secrets because I've tried it so many times but it never comes out like all the tutorials I always watch. So I'm tired. So now after applying the leave-in conditioner, I'm just going to put my hair into a braid again. So I'm just going to do the same thing to about five more sections. So three on this side and three on this side and I'll be back. Okay, now that I'm done and I look like something that I don't know the name of, I'm going to apply my extra dark um, black castor oil. I'm applying this to my scalp. Apply it to your scalp and make sure you massage it to the rest of the hair. Like I said, I have no porosity hair, so if I don't massage this product into my hair, they just sit on the hair. And because the oil is very thick, you don't really want to use that much product. You want to use as little as possible. Alright, so that is me done with my wash day. Now I'm just going to put on my hair bonnet and go to bed so that is also the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye one two three fuck it my